I want to give a disclaimer before we start this video. This is going to be a heavy video. No rainbows and unicorns around here, folks. As you can see, a former vice president of an investment bank just disclosed a blacklist of 110 U.S. banks to replace the dollar. This was inevitably coming. And when I read that title, I had to see if that was true. And yes, in this article, they list these banks, and I'm sure your bank is on this list. You're probably thinking, ah, oh, this is all BS, and I'm sure some of it is. We've never been in a situation even remotely close to the magnitude of today's day and age. But when you take a closer look, unfortunately, the truth could be darker than you could have ever imagined. My name is Silver Slayer. I post daily silver videos, so make sure you subscribe because, folks, this is just the beginning. On November 1st at 2 p.m. EST, there's supposed to be an announcement from the president. What is the announcement about? Who really knows? But there has been a few moments that changed the course of America forever. The loss of JFK. 9-11, the Nixon shock of 1971. What's scheduled to take place on November 1st at 2 p.m. EST could be another one of those moments. President Biden could go on national TV and announce a U.S. dollar recall and replace every single dollar you have in your bank account with a new type of currency. Let me pause right here. You might be saying that's insane, but what if I told you, what if I told you Federal Chairman Jerome Powell at an FOMC meeting said publicly that he one day could see a currency coexisting or even replacing the U.S. dollar. We're talking about the Federal Chairman. This would be the biggest change to our financial system since President Nixon went on live TV and took the dollar off the gold standard, triggering an 87% collapse in the value of the U.S. dollar. Did you guys know the dollar has lost 98% of its original purchasing power? Not 99%, not 97%. 98% is a factual percentage. What happens when it hits 100%? Who knows? The United States is $34 trillion in debt. Just a few days from now, we could see a similar shock, the Biden shock. And according to digital currency expert and former vice president of a major U.S. investment bank, Tiki Tawari, those who don't prepare could end up holding a bunch of worthless U.S. dollars. Now, I don't think it would be to that extent. I feel like if this were to happen, which in my honest opinion, I don't think it will, maybe there's an announcement of um, some new currency that is similar maybe it is digital like um you know some currency kind of like tether that's pegged to a dollar or usdc which is usd coin which is pegged to the dollar i mean there there's lots of different options but in my opinion there's only one alternative that is safe precious metal physical precious metal it's like switching seats on the titanic if you have anything pegged to the dollar because it's going to go down with it we are trying to get ourselves out of debt by replacing it with more debt. That's like trying to pay off a credit card with another credit card. It's going to catch up. It has ca caught up. We've seen four states in the USA go revert back to the gold standard. It's real. And I think there's like 23 states that have signed up for this. I made a video on this. It's real. You could, it's real money. You could pay off debt with your silver. And I do want to give my honest feedback, my honest opinion some of this i feel is a little exaggerated this is also coming from a former vice president of a major u.s so what he's about to break down is very informational and educational some of it i'm sure i'm not going to agree with i'm going to probably say precious metals is the best alternative who knows what he is saying will be this alternative that could make you wealthier than ever for the sake of this video, I do have to say it might be some BS, and I will call it out. 
Here is this former vice president with all the details. Now there is an actual video to what I'm about to read, but I figured I would rather read the transcript so I can pause and highlight certain things and also get the full text. Maybe he goes over some things that could breeze by or brush by. I want to really see what he's saying. Plus, I wouldn't have to keep stopping if I wanted to make a point. And there is all these graphs. So I do think that this would be better. I will post a link if you wanted to watch the video as well. So it starts off to say, hi, I'm Tika Tawari. I'll fully introduce myself in just a moment. But first, take a look at this. It's a chart of the U.S. dollar, which is in free fall. The U.S. dollar is already in free fall. I think that's obvious, but I'm sure there are some people that think America is just this wealthy country. We really aren't, and COVID especially exposed to that. And the problem with that is the USD is the world's reserve currency. Everyone around the world relies on the dollar's strength, and it's not backed by anything, so it's only as strong as people think it is. So if people start to think the dollar isn't strong, it literally isn't strong, and that's what's happening overseas and with the BRICS nations and them creating their own digital currency backed by physical commodities, kicking America off to the curb, saying, we don't want your greedy hands in our pockets anymore. So it goes on to say all over the media, you are seeing headlines about the end of the U.S. dollar. Expert predicts looming economic collapse as BRICS nations unite against the dollar. What, what's the BRICS nation, Silver Slay? I heard you just say that. BRICS nations are five countries, which there's more than five, but these were the original. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. There's many more now, but they are all allying together to create a digital currency backed by physical commodities. What the dollar used to be backed by and should be, but when we got rid of the gold standard in 1971, you see the chart of what happened. So, what does this mean? Well, this means a lot. This means a lot. It means everything, actually. And it's not stopping there. There is the Belt Road Initiative. There is so, so, so much more going on than just that sentence sounds like. If you've ever watched my, my podcast with Andy Sheckman, we have a weekly podcast called the Silver Stacking Podcast, even though we talk about a lot more stuff than just silver. Andy Sheckman is the CEO of Miles Franklin. And by the way, you guys can purchase from them. They have weekly deals. Um, so just send an email to info at milesfranklin.com. Let them know Silver Slayer sent you one of the most respected precious metals companies in America. And, uh, you know, I highly recommend them. But regardless, Andy has been talking about the BRICS nations for years. He was the first person. And that's why right now, since the BRICS nations are gaining more notoriety, Andy Sheckman is going everywhere on Kitco News, on Robert Kiyosaki's channel, the author of the Rich Dad, Poor Dad book. He's going everywhere and anywhere. He's traveling. Right now, he's in Minnesota, you know, because I keep, I, I text him, call him on, on, on a daily basis. He's traveling everywhere talking about this so it's cool that i get the guy that knows the most that's researched the most you know he's a friend of mine and i get to talk to him on a daily basis and you guys get to hear what he says on a weekly basis regardless though i just want to throw that in there for people that are new to the channel welcome but he says i could go on and on the bottom line is the u.s dollars in big trouble and then he says and I believe the U.S. government will soon announce a radical plan to stop this bleeding. They'll announce a mandatory national recall on the U.S. dollar. Is this possible? If you guys saw my video yesterday, Executive Order 6102 by FDR in 1933 stated your gold that you own in your safe isn't yours anymore. It's owned by the Federal Reserve and you better turn it in or you will pay a $10,000 fine, 10 years imprisonment, or both. Well, a year later, in 1934, he announced the Executive Order 6814, which was the same order, the same penalties, but with silver. 
He said, your silver is not yours. You got to turn it in or you'll pay a $10,000 fine, which is about half a million dollars today. 10 years imprisonment or both. Highly recommend you go check out the last two videos I posted. Both of those are very important videos. And then he says, and replace it with the new digital version that will be radically different from what you have in your bank right now. You need to prepare now because they could officially announce this recall as soon as November 1st. As Business Insider says, U.S. Treasury's efforts to create a U.S. digital currency could be imminent. And it needs to. We can't go on for too much longer like this. Every fiat-based system lasts around a century. I think the U.S. dollar is the longest lasting currency. It's literally designed to fail. As soon as we got rid of the gold standard, at least. But this next part is very chilling. They give an actual list of all the banks that are planning to recall the dollar. Check this out. Bank of America is already warning its clients that all checking accounts are likely to be replaced with digital dollars. It's not just Bank of America. Take a look at this list. More than 110 banks are already planning to recall the U.S. dollar. Organizations announcing participation in the FedNow pilot program are First Source Bank, ACI Worldwide Corp, uh, Alacrity Payments, Aloya, American Bank, American Express National Bank, American Savings Bank, American State Bank, Apti Solutions, Arvis Bank, Atlantic Community Bankers Bank, Bank of Hawaii, Bankers Bank, Bankers Bank of Kansas, Bankers Bank of the West, BMO Harris Bank. I mean, the list just cuts off there, but 110 allegedly. So more than 110 banks have already enrolled in a pilot program that I believe is Trojan horse for the digital dollar. I'm talking about banks like JP Morgan, the largest bank in America, also the most corrupt bank of Amer in, in America. U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, Citigroup, just to mention a few. There's a very good chance your bank is on this list. I'll give you the complete list in just a moment. Okay, good. So and I'll tell you exactly the three simple steps you need to take, take to opt out of this dollar recall because we don't have much time to repair. That's the part I'm very skeptical, hesitant, hesitant to, to believe because these three steps are probably, it could be anything, who knows. I'm just saying that's the one part of this entire article and this guy that I'm skeptical about. And I will call out my skepticism. So according to Yahoo Finance, the Treasury, the Fed, and the White House offices will meet regularly in the coming months to offer an interim updates to the public about this recall. Once they make the official announcement, most Americans will be caught completely off guard, except for us, and they could end up holding a bunch of worthless U.S. dollars, but it doesn't have to be like that for you and your family. You see, bureaucrats who run our government don't know much about digital currencies. They wouldn't know how to pull this off. That's why the U.S. government is turning to private sector to help them implement this massive change to our financial system. As Barron says, the largest central banks are starting to bring in big tech companies to research, design, and potentially launch central banks' digital currencies, or CBDCs. Just the four biggest central banks alone manage more than $28 trillion, which is close to the national debt, $34 trillion. And they could print unlimited amounts of money on demand. And that's where the opportunity comes in. And this is where the skepticism comes in, in my part. There are potentially trillions of dollars involved in the development of these digital currencies. And if you know which companies are working on these CBDC projects, which assets would benefit from a digital dollar, you could come out of this U.S. dollar recall wealthier than you ever thought possible, no matter what's happening with our economy. Hmm. That's why billionaires like Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and the founder of Google, Larry Page, and all are prepared to cash in to this major shift personally already moved over a million dollars of my own money into preparation for this recall. Okay, I'm really skeptical now. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you all the details and help you prepare. I'm going to show you a controversial video that proves that our financial authorities are planning a national recall in the U.S. dollar. 
I'll show you confirmation that they've already scheduled an official announcement for November 1st at 2 p.m. EST. And I'll explain why I believe they could make the recall official that day. I'll also tell you the one move you must take when your bank tells you they're moving all your cash into this new digital dollar. It's not an exaggeration to say that your entire life savings could depend on this one single move. I'll also discuss several companies that are helping governments around the world develop these central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. I'll mention names and ticker symbols and completely free of charge. Feel free to write them down because I believe their stocks could skyrocket in the coming months. There we go. There's the word. I was waiting to, to see that I was waiting for him to say. This is why I was skeptical. Remember when I say everything is going down with the dollar, like switching seats on the, on the Titanic, stocks will as well. I don't know. This is a different situation since it's a digital currency, which would most likely be on the blockchain, which would be completely decentralized from a centralized chain like banks are. There's no bank of Bitcoin. There's no Bitcoin police. It's it's decentralized. So if something wants to change, it ha there has to be a public vote and every transaction is stored publicly on the blockchain. So I don't know how this system would run. I know about cryptocurrency. I know about blockchain technology. I actually had one of the first quote unquote like viral videos on YouTube how to buy Bitcoin. It was titled How to Buy Bitcoin for Beginners. Um regardless, uh I had to take that video down because it violated YouTube's community guidelines because um on one of the sites they had gambling like on the side and you're not allowed to promote gambling, which I wasn't. It just happened to be in one of the wallet anyways, that's a whole nother situation. But uh I, I do want to talk about that a little bit and mention it just let you guys know that that word stocks definitely just raised some red flags for me but what he everything he said so far is very informational a lot of it is true just like i said in the beginning it could all be bs but when you look a little closer a lot of it is true so this is the part of the article where i'm not going to read word for word what he's saying i'll highlight some main parts i will also link this in the description for you guys to read this on your own time, this is already a very, very long video, and it's a very, very, very long article, and I think he still shows a video at the end as well. Um, let me just see real quick. Yeah, see all this stuff, the Tesla, th this is the part that I'm a little skeptical about. I would prefer, instead of doing that, the stock alternative just buy precious metals that is for sure that's a surefire way and actually ironically all the people he said that are doing this like um uh who do you say like elon musk and bill gates all these people have been buying silver <laughs> bill gates is a silver stacker elon musk just bought a silver mine um who else there i've been i've been covering a lot of billionaires um uh who else I've made so many videos Jim Rogers Warren Buffett so many more um, but anyways that's besides the fact I'm just saying just buy precious metals the physical even though he's saying an alternative that alternative is irrelevant just replace that with precious metals because everything else he said is very true um, so yeah I'm gonna I'm just gonna stop there um, because it, there's a lot here and I would you guys can read it if you want on your own. I'll post the link if you guys wanted to purchase some silver or gold. I actually have some deals right now. Some silver, a silver deal, a gold deal, and a platinum deal. And because Miles Franklin posts weekly deals every Monday, just send an email to info at milesfranklin.com. Let them know Silver Slayer sent you. Ask for a price list. Say you want the deals. And if you don't want the deals, buy whatever. They have basically everything every single type of silver and gold i mean they have everything you know andy andy sheckman was the guy that filled the biggest silver purchase in history that billionaire from texas last year bought 50 million dollars worth of silver 900,000 eagles over 100,000 ounces in junk silver and gold andy sheckman filled that order in two days 
speaks for itself. One, who else in the world could fill an order that big? 900,000 eagles? Nobody else can. But more importantly, who would trust someone with $50 million? Andy Sheckman, because he is the most respected, trusted person in the industry. And it's just, I'm so honored to be able to, you know, be a friend of his and have him on my channel for you guys to, to you know, hear his knowledge on a weekly basis. So, yeah, info at milesfranklin.com. Let him know Silver Slayer sent you. Um, big things are happening, folks. I'm working on my book. I've been working, been trying to write a little bit every day. Hopefully, early 2024, it will be published. I'll do hardback, might do softback. I definitely want hardback. Um, I might do an audio book as well. I might read the book for you guys so you can almost listen to it like as a podcast if you don't want to read. Um, it's it's going to be really cool. I'm really excited. This will be like my life's work. Yeah, this channel is, but like this book, I'm putting everything into. It's going to be, and the name is so clever. I can't say the name. I don't want anyone else to steal it. The name is so clever. I already have, I made the cover for it. I know you got a lot of you guys probably don't care about this part. You guys can just click off the video, but make sure you subscribe. Also make sure that uh, you enter my giveaway. I'm doing a silver giveaway as we approach 100,000 subscribers. But for my loyal fans or viewers, um, you know, this book means a lot to me. And comment down below if you are going to purchase this book. Um, you know, there's a lot into it. I've been doing research and I've been finding out things like I didn't know that much about the Executive Order 6814 by FDR, which was declared in 1934. You know, the 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 most popular one is Executive Order 6102 by FDR, but a year later, 6814 had some very interesting information I made a video about yesterday, but regardless, I'm excited for the future. Um, make sure you guys subscribe because this is just the beginning and I'll keep you guys updated on a daily basis. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.